Stick with me cooking. Season one, episode three. Our videos aren't in 3D. I wish they were. But season one, episode three. The name is. Today we are making a special dish. It goes by the name of Angre La. Trying to find my son, you know where he is? That's from Home Alone, if you guys are stupid enough not to know that. But listen, here's the deal. What we're making today is uh, fettuccine Alfredo with uh, grilled chicken breast on it and then some sausage. So it's going to be chicken and sausage on top of a bed of fettuccine Alfredo. Now, first thing we're going to do, I have the water boiling so far. We're going to put some... Uh, we're gonna put some fettuccine noodles some, in. Some fettu sign. Yep. And uh, people in their accents. Jeez, this is gonna be a lot. Hey, I haven't eaten in 12 hours. I'm good. Yeah. I could. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the first two. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, we're getting pretty good response. Uh, we've actually been viewed in Pakistan. In Finland. And Finland. Finland. Along with. Uh, Alaska, Canada, and the greatest country in the world. India. Yeah, the U.S. of A. So, we're going to get this boiling. I'm excited to be here. I hope you guys are excited to watch. Please subscribe if you can. And if you can't... I'm going to kill you. I'm going to come through the screen and stab you in your left elbow with a toothpick. And then I'll pull you through the screen and hang you by your eyeballs off of a coffee maker. Exactly. So, we'll be right back. Uh, we're going to get this stuff boiling, and then we'll go on to the next step. So, we'll see you after these incredible messages that you've seen on the last two videos. Is that Mr. Johnson, perhaps? <laughs> the only thing you do in your room is pick the lint off your scrotum. And we're back! That's what I would want to know. Many oranges. So you never know what the world's going to throw at you. Hashtag fact. Now, we're back. Stick with me cooking episode three, season one. And uh, we have the uh, noodles in and boiling. Which is a key piece for Angre La. And uh, it's French for something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and... Uh, You're not at all worried. No, but seriously. <laughs> yeah, a little orange taste. Get some orange spice in there. But seriously, not? we'll be right back. I just wanted to let you guys know we're, we're boiling. And when we come back, we will be draining this, putting it on plates, and starting our, our Alfredo and sauteing our meat. So we will be right back uh, after this commercial about drugs and why not to do them when you're on other things. Bye. Did anyone order me a plain cheese? Oh yeah, we did. But if you want any, somebody's gonna have to barf it all up because it's gone. Welcome back to Stick With Me Cooking. We are cooking some Angre La. Angre La? With your... I'm looking for my son, you know where he is? With our co-host, Maddie. The noodles are Jesus definitely nine. <laughs> our noodles are Freaking definitely done. Nine teddy bears. <laughs> Ko right. pectate, let's go. Ko pectate, these are done. Okay. All right, so noodles on the plate. God, this is gonna be a lot of noodles. That's right. <laughs> Might have stuck a little bit. Make ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nothing like some steam in the old gizzard. Just make sure you don't. Boy, sure, you know, no, basically make sure you don't start looking up songs on YouTube while you're boiling shit because you'll get that. Yeah. Okay, ah! so. Oh, non. I got the plate on the right. <laughs> I like the noodles. So here's the deal. So the part that sucks is that we have to use that same pan for the no, Alfredo we sauce. No, we don't. No, we don't? Okay. We'll be right back. Okay, bye. We're cooking. So we're back. Noodles are in the dark. Uh, just sitting. We're going to start the uh, Alfredo. I'm actually just going to do it in the microwave this time. 
because it saves time and it, I just don't want to do dishes for later. So, I'm going to do this. If you do sauce in the microwave, though, do cover it because it splatters everywhere. Um, and you'll regret it, definitely. Yeah. So, we're going to do this. And now, I'd like to know people's opinion. Do you guys, do you guys prefer actually learning about cooking like like you know learning new dishes and you might do it someday or are you more interested in being entertained while we cook i'd like to know that leave comments because we can get more serious and we can get crazier yeah, i feel like right now we're just at a median and that's okay i just want to know you know the show is not about us it's about you guys well it's so. kind of about us because it's directly about what we eat so here's what we're going to do everyone here we go. It's meat fresh, time. Fresh, fresh grilled chicken. Fresh from my farm because I am Adam Foster of Foster Farms. Yep. Not really, but you don't know that. Thanks. Yep. I had people that would always ask me that in school. All right. Radiant? So, if you open a thing of chicken and one of its one of them is green, definitely don't eat it. The rest of them are good, though, yeah. And I am not accountable for that, even if it is my farm. So, oh yeah, we're good. There's a lot. Sometimes all this takes is a good smell. Yep. Which, from here, about two feet away, smells like heaven. Yep. What is that? I don't know. So, you want to turn the pan on? <laughs> Put some shit in it. I guess. Some Miguel Olivo oil in there. And we're going to cut. On a cutting board that's much quieter than the one we had from our first episode. Yep. And my shoe just came off. <laughs> it went halfway across the floor. So, I'm going to cut all this meat up and we'll be back. Stay tuned for the when finale. When we come back with cutting Actually, meat. it's not going to be the finale. We'll probably have one more segment. So, come back. Just come back. Welcome. So, so we're back, um, cutting up the meat. Open up that kielbasa. We're just gonna, basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna toss it all together. I would separate it. <laughs> you had to cut that just the right segment. Yes, enter joke right here. Oh, I look like a wiener, that's so funny. <laughs> this is a cooking show, and we're serious about our food. It does look like a big wiener though, it's kind of funny. But I'm gonna cut this meat up and we'll be right back after these messages from Binford. From Ben, <laughs> Who the fuck is Benford? The tool company on home improvement. Mm. So, we'll be back though, seriously. Um, because I'm going to cut this meat up and see you later. Pan is hot. What? So we're back, pan is hot. Stick with me cooking season one. Three. Episode three. Let's put our meat. In That's the a thing. a lot of meat, by the way. Hey. But... We're off. I'm hungry. Okay. Here we go. You can just... Like you can just smell... Smorgasbord of meat. You can just smell that sweet and sour sauce. Yep. And that makes it... Oh, we... That's right. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What's that? I don't know. All right, so here we go. So, we're just going to saw... Oh, my God. We're going to be good. You can saw... All right, so uh, this two minutes on high. Go. And if it seems like we are kind of rushing it, we are because we're really hungry. I haven't eaten in about 13 hours at this point. It's yep. about 3.30 in the morning as well. Yep. And so... And so... I don't know. What is that, though? Oh. So... <laughs> you can saute the meat with whatever you'd like. I mean, you don't have to be strictly down to just pepper. You can use anything. But for us, we're pretty plain and simple. I mean, we already use the sweet and sour sauce and the... And one thing Bangkok to know that Penang. most people don't is packaged sausage is very, very... Very salty, so you, that's why you put salt. Indeed. So uh, we're gonna saute the meat with some extra stuff. What do you got? And uh, we're gonna saute the meat. Hopefully, the Alfredo will be done at the same time. Like I said, it's all about timing. 
We're well, as it is right now, it'll be done in 53 seconds. We're going to throw everything together, and uh, we'll be right back for the conclusion of episode 3. Stick around. And we're back for the finale, for the last segment. We actually, uh, so, off-screen... Off I'm going to show them, though. We did a little something special. We added so, a new seasoning. Very, very nice, innovative, last-minute thought it's by... It's kind uh, of a weird... You, most people wouldn't think of it, but I'm going to throw in just a tad bit of cinnamon on our chicken. And most people don't, you know, they'd be like, what the hell are you doing? But... Just try it. Seriously, cinnamon and poultry complement each other so well. Um, that's, that's what really I'm about with cooking, is just experimenting and trying. I mean, if it's not good, it's not good, but... Trying new things, man, that's... You're never going to know unless you do it. That's what it's all about, man. Um, so the Alfredo that's stuff. That's not just with cooking. That's with everything. But we're going to try this. We're going to see how this Alfredo's doing here. A wise man once said, leave no mental stone unturned. Which is exactly I what we're doing. I said like Tuesday. I know. The wise man was me. Because I am very, very smart. Frankincense, this is myrrh. <laughs> but seriously. Man, my back is something fierce right now. You know that you're in there. And that you're all alone. So. I'm getting scammed by a kidney gut. Man, you come on here and help me? <laughs> I hate, I, hate I know. I hate so, it. sauteing. I'll be back at 9 o'clock. Alright, so, here we go. Finale, people. Dun, dun. Drum roll. Do a drum roll on your, on your computer if you can do it. Yes. Here we go. Out of the dark, they come. Here we go. Here we go, everyone. Throw the meat in there. Oh my god, that cinnamon is just really doing it. It's a godsend right now. We're just uh, getting some extra heat on the Alfredo. And it's done. Don't know why I said Alfredo that way. It bothers me. You. Here we go. We should really. If someone wants to donate some, send us some PayPal or some money for some pot holders. It'd be great. Send money to stickwithmecooking at gmail.com now. So I'd like to not have to use my shirt. Did anyone else just see that? Thing is bubbling like a wing knot right now. It's hot as a jackrabbit on a Thursday morning reading the comics. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're making those bagels. No. All right. Here we go. We oh contemplated making bagels as a side dish, but we didn't do it. I'm telling you right now, this cinnamon just took it to a whole nother level. So, just, here we go. Just throw it in there. Always, always use your surroundings. As a means of transportation. I'm going to use the sponge to hold this up. Because it's hot. Cold sponge to hold it. Here we go. And here so we meat, go. So, meat. Meat Alfredo. And now you are seeing the ongre la come together. Yep. In full effect. God, it smells so good. Yep. Oh, yes. Spaghetti factory who, you know? That's what I say. <laughs> Is that who, you know? That's what I say. I really hope you cover that one spot that's bothering me. One spot? There's just one, <laughs> one big spot that you Where? uncovered right Where? there. Oh, right here? Yes. Got it. Got it. All right, so. All right, everybody. Ladies that... and gentlemen, you have it. That concludes season or season one, episode three. Angry la! Keep the change, you filthy animal.